Good morning, everyone. This is Scott of the Scott Man. We're here in Moab, Utah. I'm going to head to the Arches National Park today. I'm going to check out a couple of very cool arches, one for sunrise and one for sunset. So let's head out. All right, we've made it to Arches National Park. You're not going to be able to see me at all just because it is really dark out. But yeah, I'm here at the Devil's Garden Trailhead and I'm going to be walking over to one of the most, or, or, or I should say one of the more popular arches here in the park because Arches National Park has numerous beautiful arches to, to check out here in the park. And Landscape Arch is where I'm going to for sunrise this morning and it is the longest arch in the park. And we have made it to the viewpoint for Landscape Arch. This beautiful arch spans a, a, around 306 feet across, making it the longest arch in the entire park. Back in 1991, or up until 1991, people used to be able to walk all the way underneath the arch. However, due to erosion, a big piece of the rock from the arch fell underneath and unfortunately the trail has been, or the trail beyond this point has been closed. But still you can still admire from afar. I wanna get a great picture here at sunrise of the arch, but this is a little too close. I found a couple good viewpoints a little bit further back, so let's do just that. Okay, so I stepped a little bit further away from the from the viewpoint and this be, yeah, this area over here will give me a great place to set up my tripod. You know, something I haven't really done in quite a long time. I haven't done like a true self-portrait, or at least just, or, or maybe not a self-portrait, more, more like getting myself in the photo. Because what I wanted to capture there is to show how massive the arch is and show how little I am compared to the scenery around me, just to make it a little bit more epic. All right, the sun's starting to come up. It's sunrise just a few minutes ago. I'm gonna get a different viewpoint because I wanna get some of the clouds that are starting to roll in a little bit. Here we go. Isn't this epic or what? Like, this is beautiful timing. And this is fantastic. I can't believe how anybody's here right now. I saw a lot of cars going over to the windows as I was driving in here this morning, but as soon as I saw it was just me going this way, it's like, bingo. There's a second arch over there too, like over to the right. So what I want to do is I want to capture both arches landscape arch itself and then of course the arch over there too and I want to ha have like a scene where it shows I'm walking along the trail well I gotta say this has been absolutely amazing but landscape arch is absolutely beautiful here around sunrise. But I was uh, able to get some cool photos out of this too. But there's a lot more to see and do here in Arches National Park. <laughs> I want to go to some more cool spots here in the park uh, before it gets really busy later, later in the morning. All right, so yeah, that was absolutely beautiful. I got there at a at the perfect time because it's like yeah, I go right before sunrise, hardly anybody there. But the parking lot is already starting to fill up quite a bit as I was getting out of the trail. It's like passed by a lot of people going in. So, so yeah, tip for landscape arch: go early. So next, I'm gonna try to go back over to the area above the windows 
I want to get there as fast as I can just because that parking lot's going to fill pretty fast. I would like to go check out Double Arch. Hopefully, hopefully there are some parking spots available. All right, we made it to the windows. Um, gonna check out Double Arch, which is just behind, behind me, but get a pretty cool view, but we'll get an even better view along the trail. But yeah, I got here at a perfect time because it looks like the parking lot just filled up. <laughs> And here we are, this is what's called the double arch. The reason why it's called double arch is as you can tell, we have two arches in view here. With the larger, with the larger arch spanning about 144 feet across, it's the third longest arch here in the park with, with of course landscape arch which we, which we saw earlier being the longest. And it's about 112 feet high. Hey, uh, speaking of double arches, I wonder if they have a quarter pounder with cheese available over there. Double arch and also all the different arches here in this park are made of beautiful sandstone and over over the years and the centuries these arches were formed by, by, by occasional erosion. And not only that too, but they, they remain in place because this part of Utah is not very seismically active, so therefore no earthquakes. And due to no earthquakes, these arches are here to stay for quite a long period of time. All right, so I made it over to the windows. Up not gonna film a whole lot here because I would like to come back here tomorrow for sunset. I already have a sunset plan for tonight, but yeah, this parking lot does fill up pretty quickly, so hopefully I'll be able to come here tomorrow evening and not have and not have or and hopefully be able to find a parking spot. So yeah, be sure to click that subscribe button so, so that way you know if I'm able to come here for sunset tomorrow or not. And over there that is North Window. Just a little bit further along the, the loop trail, we have the south window. Probably not a good idea to walk over to that one, but if you look through that, I'm sure there, there are a lot, there is a window of horribly bad puns. <laughs> sometimes when you can easily make a pun and you know it's really bad, sometimes it's best not, just, not to say it on camera. <laughs> but anyway, but yeah, I'm just doing a little bit of location scouting so that way if I'm able to get back here tomorrow evening for sunset I can get some spectacular views. And I think I'm, I may have found a cool spot. Yeah, the spot I found is just over there. It's in between here and North Window. Overlooking, uh, and of course the view I want to get at sunset tomorrow, if I can, is of Turret Arch over there. Get some beautiful color. Hopefully there's some clouds in the sky. Yeah, this has been an awesome morning so far. Yeah, love checking out the Arches National Park. This almost might be my new favorite national park right now. <laughs> right, I'm, I'm gonna go back in the car and I'm gonna go check out some more cool spots around the park. On the way out from the, out from the windows, we have the Garden of Eden. I would like to recite a poem that I've come up with. I think you'll like it. In the Garden of Eden. Don't you know that I love you? In the Garden of Eden. Don't you know that I'll always be true? Oh wait, I think that one's been done already. Oh well. <laughs> All 
right, this is the last stop for this morning here at Sand Dune Arch. Just got a quick walk over there. And that was Sand Dune Arch. That was absolutely beautiful. But yeah, the scenery in here almost, almost, almost looks like the movie set for Star Wars, if, if, if I'm not mistaken. I know it wasn't filmed here, but sure it looks like it. <laughs> All right, so yeah, Arches National Park, absolutely beautiful. Um, had such a great morning, lots of exploration. Just gotta love it. All right, so I got one more segment left, but it's gonna be much later in the day. I'm gonna be coming back late afternoon for sunset. So don't go anywhere. All right, we made it to our last stop in this video. We're here at the trailhead for Delicate Arch. Delicate Arch is the most iconic of all the arches here in the park. And it's gonna be really cool to see it. We've got a mile and a half long trail to take. We're starting over here at Wolf Ranch. And especially in the warmer months, they recommend to have at least a quart or at least a liter of water with you. And I did just that. So I got got my big water bottle and I got and I and I got a half a liter of water in a plastic bottle. So I'll be good. All right, made all the way to the top. Still a little, a little bit more, but at least the top of the big hill. And yeah, all the way out that way, that's the parking lot where we started the hike. So we've gone so far yet, feels like we, or looks like we haven't gone that far. We have made it to Delicate Arch. <laughs> that long hike was well worth it, especially for views like this. Yeah, absolutely beautiful, beautiful I have to say. As a matter of fact, Delicate Arch is so delicate that in its most popular arch, it's even featured in the Welcome to Utah sign as you drive into the state on many of the different freeways or highways. And also, you can even send Utah license plates. <laughs> but yeah, had such an amazing adventure today here in Arches National Park. I highly recommend the park. All right, so got some more adventures here in Moab tomorrow, so stay tuned. For another video so be sure to click that subscribe button so, so, so that way so that way you don't miss the upcoming adventure and don't forget to uh, click that notification bell so that way you know when a new video new video goes live well thank you for watching and this is scott or the scott man signing out